Hey friends, I hope you're having an amazing day. So last week, uh, I did my first vlog on uh, black coffee while reviewing uh, one of the black coffees uh, from Ethiopia. Uh, I received a lot of positive feedbacks about that vlog and uh, since black coffee is one of my all-time favorite beverages, I thought it would be fun uh, to review lots of coffees which are out there in the market uh, along with you. So stay tuned because today I'll be reviewing the Starbucks Sumatra coffee in an espresso form. So as you can see here, I own an espresso machine from Vero and I keep it in my office conference room. My cup is almost ready. So this is a compartment uh, where I keep my coffees. So let's open it. Voila, the Starbucks Nespresso pods are here. So today we are going to be reviewing the Sumatra coffee from, this, from Starbucks. This is how the Nespresso pod looks like. I'm sure all the black coffee drinkers uh, must be aware of it. Let's keep this back in its place. Let's turn on the coffee machine. So I usually don't prefer having only an espresso. I like to mix it with some water. I prefer an American over an espresso, especially because of the hot climate over here in Mumbai. So I'll just show you how I make my coffee. So as you can see, uh, the lights are still blinking. So once the blinking stops is when the machine is ready to pour in some coffee. If you look at it closely at the machine, it's basically got a one cup and a double shot espresso. The blinking has stopped, so I'm going to place my mug over here. It's a slightly bigger mug, it's not an espresso shot uh, mug. So this machine is basically meant to keep uh, small espresso shot uh, cups. But since my mug is a little bigger, uh, it's at a tilted angle. This compartment is basically where you put the coffee pods. And right at the back is the water compartment, the water container. Hope you can see. It's half filled, so I think we're good to go. Place this thing over here down so the first shot is basically a double shot coffee is love as my mark suggests So as you can see, it almost fills up uh, half the cup. What I like to do next is basically open this and remove the coffee pods. It goes into the compartment down here. So now there are no coffee pods inside. All I'm going to add is a bit of hot water. So I use the single cup uh, espresso button. And water is coming out right now. Making it into Americano. I think that's about it. Here's a fantastic cup of the Starbucks Sumatra coffee. There we go. Wow. So this is what you call a dark roast. It's uh, one of the most fantastic uh, brews of Starbucks, one of the best I would say. So when you go to Starbucks, uh, you must have heard the terms uh, whether you want a Pike Place roast or you want a Kenyan roast, you want a Sumatra 
or you want some Indian estate uh, rose. So these are basically the origins of uh, coffees. You know, the origins from where these coffees have come from. Like Sumatra is an Indonesian coffee and uh, probably one of my favorites uh, at Starbucks. So talking about this, uh, I, I'm a huge fan of uh, dark roasts. Uh, although I don't consume it uh, very often, I usually prefer having a medium roast. Again, because of uh, the hot conditions in our country, a dark roast uh, is probably not good for my health. Uh, you know, consuming too much, uh, the amount of coffee that I consume in a day, it's almost two to three cups. So a medium roast is something which I usually go for. Uh, the Pike Place Roast is uh, one of my to-go coffee from Starbucks and when it comes to Nespresso pods. But uh, once in a while, like having a dark roast, uh, it just freshens up your mind. And uh, as you can see, like dark roasts is basically, it gives you that nice smoky flavor. You know, it has no fruit in it. Like it doesn't give you a fruity aftertaste at all. It has nothing, it, it only has a smoky flavor and uh, like once you consume it you really you really get that bitter taste of coffee so if you are a huge fan of bitter tastes you know in life for example you love bitter chocolates over sweet chocolates then a bitter black coffee is uh, something that uh, you would definitely definitely love so more than the smokiness of this coffee uh, it's the smoothness as well like it doesn't really hit your throat that bad uh, you know there are some coffees out there which uh, you know the dark roast which have that nice smoky smell and uh, taste to it but they really hit you hard in your throat uh, this is unlike uh, that kind of a coffee you know it, it, it's so smooth that it just goes down so easily into your belly and uh, Usually they say that it takes around 30 minutes for the caffeine uh, to kick in, in but with the dark roast I think uh, it kicks in about 15 to 20 minutes. I think I'm ready to go after a 15 20 minute, uh, you know, after consuming coffee and in, 15, in about 15 to 20 minutes I'm, I'm just out there, I'm just ready to go. So yeah, I mean, uh, it's a fantastic, uh, it's a fantastic beverage to have in the mornings and in the afternoons. Uh, I would not recommend people, uh, you know, who have uh, a bit of a caffeine problem, like uh, they cannot sleep uh, if they consume too much of caffeine. So probably you should not consume any caffeine after 2 p.m. So it gives you enough time for the caffeine to dilute down and uh, give you a good night's sleep. Uh, the same thing happens to me as well. I do not consume coffee post 2 p.m. Uh, no matter what. Otherwise, uh, I probably won't be able to sleep at night. But uh, yeah enough about me let's just enjoy this cup of coffee oh man it really gets it really gets to me and like the bitter taste it's absolutely fantastic uh, I would I would definitely recommend you know people who love dark roast and, and love bitter coffees to go out there and try this thing out <clears throat> You get this in, in, in Nespresso pods as well, but uh, you can always go to Starbucks and uh, buy an entire pack of beans uh, of Sumatra coffee and uh, try it for yourself if you haven't already done so. So as I'm consuming my afternoon coffee, uh, I would like to thank you all for uh, supporting me in this channel. And uh, it's not only about uh, interior design anymore, it's uh, also going to be about black coffees and uh, very soon i'm going to be making a video about why architects consume so much black coffee why do they love black coffee so much so there is a special story behind it as far as i'm concerned uh, i hope even you have a story to tell about this so do share that story uh, in the comment box below i'll be i'll be i'll be more than happy to see those stories or read those stories and uh, if you also are a coffee lover and if you want me to review any more coffees uh, you know that you consume or you have you've been meaning to consume you've been meaning to try it out but you haven't done it uh, just put it in the comment box below and i'll be more than happy to try it out until next time have a fantastic day